Hey everyone, this is Joyboy P with another unboxing review video for you. Um, hoping to make this also an installation tutorial, but um, this week um, this video is on the o OCZ or OCZ, however you want, to, you want to pronounce it, Revo Drive 3X2. Um, this is the 480 gigabyte version. Um, I did want to get the um, 960 gigabyte version, but um, I couldn't uh, find it, and I had a bit of hassle there. And try to sort out them um, sort that thing out anyway. Anyway, on to the review. You've got um some basic information which you can find on the website. Um let you read that. Just pause and read it as usual. Uh more information in different languages. Uh the actual image of the device there. Um that little heatsink there is actually different on my one. Um of course got a product code and stuff like that. And that's the only indicator on the box of uh, what size you actually have. Uh, 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 this card does support um, PCI um, Gen 2 um, uh, for transfer speeds and that. And you're best putting it in the uh, 4x slot for best bandwidth. Um, it's compatible with Gen um, 3 as well. Um, you got the OC um, virtual controller architecture. Which allows does allow trim and smart support. Um, a lot of people do say that um, this uh, uh, card um, isn't um, supported with that, but it, um, it actually is. Uh, Minimise her CPU burden um, with the super scale storage ex um, accelerator. Um, well, I did test this out briefly on my um, in my motherboard. Um, the temperatures on my CPU did seem to go up a little bit, but I just get this out of the box and. Uh, here in a moment. Okay, inside that box we get this um, other box. It is a rather sturdy, ruddy, rugged box. Sorry, um, this like opens up like a drawer. Get off. A bit difficult doing it with one end. Anyway, there's your driver disc. Don't use that. Um, get your drivers and software from the website. Little sticker to stick on your case. My um, SSD is faster than your HDD. Uh, in this case, it's PCIe SSD. Um, let me just move that out of the way. And here we actually have the drive in some rather thick, sturdy foam and an anti static bag. Just take it out of its anti static bag for you and continue on again. And here we have it outside the anti static bag. Um, as I said, the heat sink on mine is different to what it shows on the actual um, product box. Um, as you can see there, um, it shows it like that on the websites and all that lot. But and that, this is how it actually arrived and how it looks. Uh, you got your can sound force controller chips there, and your, um, actual men memory modules. It's not much to actually see all that much. Um, now a lot of people do say when it comes to this specific card that um, you don't really notice much speed difference compared to this and an, a standard SSD. That is true for the 240 gig version because um, the uh, thing that is most important when it comes to operating systems is your IOPS and the 240 gig version only has 70,000 on um, on the uh, IOP read speed and th um, a standard SSD can actually beat that. Whereas the um, this 480 gig version has um, 120,000 IOP speed so you, um, most SSDs top out at about 100,000 so you should get a bit um, better performance um, at the 480 gig version um, uh, the actual uh, sustained read write speeds um, are 1.5 gigabytes on the um, read um, on the reads and the 1.25 gigabytes I think it was on um, the right speeds um, you're only going to really notice all that raw performance if you have a drive which you can copy to which of the same um, which supports the same sort of speed um, that just about wraps it up for this point um, I will do a tutorial on how to install the drivers and that and actually how, how to use it as a um, boot device so I'll be back to that uh, in a little while. Hi everyone this is for the um, Revo Drive um Installation as um, a boot as a boot drive um, tutorial. Um, you stick in your Windows disk, um, click, um, let it uh, load up. Um, click um, install now. It brings you to this screen. 
Um, we'll be back in a moment after I've entered my Windows key um, and uh, continue the um, tutorial there. So you can your Windows key as you normally would. Right, you t um, tapped in your Windows key, then um, click Next, brings you to this screen. Set the terms and conditions. Next again, custom install. And it shows our drives. Where have we got reserved? Let's delete that. Uh, 100 megabyte allocation. Uh oh, unallocated even. Key volume, can I delete that one as well? Um, so right, right now you don't have the um, Revo drive um, uh, as a selectable boot, boot device. So you click load driver, get the USB drive which you've installed the um, well, which you downloaded the drivers for. Um, leave a link in the description below um, on how to do um, and where to get the um, driver. Um, download the driver, stick it on your USB drive, uh, plug it in. It's got to plug it in on the top. Okay, click browse. Use it. Uh, memory stick is what you're after. Uh, it's the AMD 64 thing. Um, I'll come back to you in a moment. Oh, I'm back with the um, ICC um, installation uh, tutorial. Unfortunately, when I um, was actually well, actually recorded that bit, um, I can sort of be back in a moment. Um, for some reason, the camera didn't record it, and uh, when I actually stopped the recording, it started to record then. So I've got like a 30-minute video of uh, the camera just watching this bottom corner of the screen doing the Windows installation. You see, the system's up and running. I've had no glitches whatsoever with the um, Revo drive. But uh, to uh, continue on from there. Um, click the if you're running a 64-bit um, version of Windows, um, click the a AMD, the AMD uh, 64, um, and follow the on-screen um, on instructions. Um, if um, the driver installation won't work, um, won't work if you use a 36-bit version. Um, so you'll either get it right or it won't work. Um, uh, then you just retry and uh, just uh, and then the um, Revo drive will show up as a boot device and then you continue with your Windows installation from there. As you can probably see I, I was working on the video when I realised uh, that part was missing so sorry about that guys. Um, uh, that um, that uh, wraps up the uh, uh, tutorial. Unfortunately I couldn't show on, on screen instructions for that for you um, without reinstalling Windows again on it and uh, there's a lot of uh, reinstallation to be done uh, after doing that. So. Well, I'd uh, give you a, a verbal uh, explanation on how to do things. Uh, please leave a, um, a like, um, uh, comments in the comment section below. Uh, this is Joe Porky, signing <laughs>